with the drive to be more efficient, society has forgotten to look at the real cost of heavy industrialization. Mercury is one of the issues pertaining to how it enters the water table, then into the human body. We must discover new ways to establish cleaner methods of production while maintaining our standard of living. Mercury has several issues that it creates all the way up the food chain. The areas that mercury affects are health, water purity, and air cleanliness. All these issues dump their problems into one another. Mercury is a health concern for humans who consume fish and plan on having children. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has ranked mercury as one of the three most potent toxins. Approximately 6,000 tons enter the atmosphere worldwide every year. Methylmercury, MEHG, is the agent that humans consume when they eat fish. Exposure in children can occur when the mother eats fish while she is pregnant. The result can affect the child's nervous system and his brain. The areas that are affected in the brain are the memory, attention span, language, and cognitive thinking abilities, plus the visual spatial skills. When the element is inhaled, it affects or causes the following. Tremors, headaches, emotional changes such as mood swings, irritability, nervousness, and excessive shyness, plus many others. Mercury has entered the water through the atmosphere that was placed there by industrial production. There is now a statewide fish consumption advisory for the lakes. While mercury has been reduced over the years, the inland lakes and rivers still have mercury that exceeds the health requirements for fish consumption. The risk is greater than currently recognized by government officials. The impacts on the fish populations could affect the commercial businesses in such areas as vacation and recreational uses. The best way for us to keep methylmercury out of fish is to remove mercury from the air. The 1990 Clean Air Act Amendment's Great Waters Provision was put in place to help limit the emissions of mercury into the atmosphere. There are currently two types of mercury that exist in our atmosphere. Both are bad for us. HG subscript 0 is the elemental mercury that makes up 90% of mercury in atmosphere. This mercury is inhaled in its pure form. It has a low water solubility, therefore it does not enter the water as easily as the other one. HG subscripted RGM is highly water soluble and reactive to other materials. This is the mercury that ends up in the fish. Mercury enters the water through the atmosphere when it is in the dust particle form and connects to the water vapor. Studies have shown that the larger cities could be directly related to the amount of mercury that enters the atmosphere. Studies in the southwest of Michigan show that mercury is at a higher concentration than other parts of the state. Roughly 76%, three tons per year, of the U.S.'s contribution to mercury in the atmosphere comes from cities and industrial areas. Weather tends to move the elemental mercury, but does not dissipate it or spread it out but spreads it across the atmosphere as a whole. If we reduce the number of emissions in the atmosphere and in cities, this should lower the mercury content that is currently in the atmosphere. Our goal is to help raise awareness to the current state of mercury in the environment. Mercury's presence affects all who live in Michigan and could be potentially more harmful if left unchecked because the facts warn that exposure could cause life-altering effects. We need to understand the potential danger that we are inflicting on ourselves and find effective ways to counteract these problems without threatening ourselves more. Without proper action, we will only destroy our state's unique environment.